And welcome folks, Dr. Charles Parker here, and I'm just going to give you a little piece of information regarding picky eating. That's why you tuned in here, and if you're interested in picky eating, especially at breakfast, this is the place to be. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I really have written about it extensively in my book, New ADHD Medication Rules, because we know that it's so important regarding using ADHD medications. When do you take ADHD medications? You don't take them at night, you take them at breakfast. And when do you take them at breakfast? After breakfast. What happens with picky eaters? They can't take ADHD medications because why? They lose weight. Their stomach gets upset. They've got to go to the school nurse. This is not going to be resolved with Pop-Tarts and bagels. It's not going to happen. And very frequently, it's not going to happen. Let's put it that way. And they're going to be upset, and they're going to go ahead, and the grades are going to suffer, and you know they've been identified, they've been tested, they've been looked at by your favorite medical doctor, and they realize that they've got a prefrontal cortical problem with focus and concentration, and they can't eat breakfast because they're a picky eater. How do you solve the picky eater? Well, let me just break it down very quickly for you. I've done several different uh, videos on IgG and gastrointestinal problems. We talk in other videos about the north and the south. Germane to this point here is the north part of the GI tract from the mouth down to the stomach. Yes, immunoglobulin G, IgG, the ghost immunoglobulin, can affect the stomach just like it can the bowel down below, down in the south. So we're not interested in number two here. We're interested in really that whole thing with breakfast and picky eating. My strong recommendation to everybody here, and I know you tune in here for some answers. My strong recommendation is don't mess with an elimination diet. You can, go on, you can actually drive yourself completely crazy with that because a person can have five or six things that they're allergic to, and if you only take one or two out, those other three or four are going to continue to plague the individual, and you can just be, as we've said in other videos, chasing your tail without any good evidence. You know, and when you're actually trying to get the details right, evidence matters. So what do you what do you get at? What's the evidence? Immunoglobulin G, go get the blood test, see what's happening on with immunoglobulins, take the offending food out of the diet, help that child, especially very frequently it's children, but help the adult too. There are plenty of uh, young adults and um, even middle-aged adults who just don't eat breakfast and can't take anything and they've been that way since they were dog on 10 years old. And no one has really emphasized the importance of eating, constructively eating a good, solid breakfast. So the bottom line here is I'm going to leave you with that thought. Get the IgG testing. Take a look at the, the uh, links down below. Take a look at the book, New ADHD Medication Rules. We spell it out in detail there. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.